I guess. Um, I bought an extra Jeskai pre-release uh, cons kit, and I thought it would be a good idea to uh, bust it open, take out the seated booster pack, and do a video on what you might have gotten, or maybe what you did get, in your uh, or in the uh, Just Guy seated booster pack, or one of the seated booster packs, since there were so many promos. So let's go ahead and tear this open. I'll take the booster packs out of those kits, and then I'll make separate videos of them. So our, our promo is Master of Pearls. It's one and a white, with more for three and two white. Uh, it's a 2-2. Two, two. When Master of Pearls is turned face up, creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Uh, this can be a very big card. If your opponent's not expecting it, and they throw in a block, and you want to blow them out you know you turn this guy face up and all of a sudden all your guys are plus two plus two it can really throw off combat uh i i really like having this promo i i, I like this this guy a lot we have a just guy banner for mana fixing seeker of the way one in a white uh it has prowess and whenever you cast a non-creature spell seeker of the way gains lifelink until end of turn it's a two two uh, I think this is a very good creature. Just with lifelink and the possible uh, prowess on top of it, it just, I think you cast a removal spell, uh, swing in with this guy, and all of a sudden you're you're doing three damage and gaining life back. Like I think this is a very solid card. Um, if you get this, either if you can play white, um, I would be playing this card. Whether it's Mardu, whether it's Obzin, whether it's Jeskai, you definitely want to be playing this guy. He's he's very good. Misfire Weaver, it's three and a blue. Uh, flying with more for two and a blue. Uh, it's a three one. When Misfire Weaver is turned face up, target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. It's not the most fantastic of cards. It's definitely a good one. Um, it's going to trade a lot, or it's going to die. It's going to be hard to swing in with only one toughness. That's the only reason why I would be hesitant about it. But uh, it could very well be a good card. Venerable Lamasu, it's six and a white, flying, five, four. I've heard a lot of people staying away from this. I guess if you have to play it, if you really need a body, you can play it, but it doesn't seem like it's a terribly great card. It's just too expensive. Mystic Monastery for mana fixing. Smite the Monstrous, this one hurt me when I was playing Mardu quite a bit. It's three and a white, destroy target creature with power four or greater. If you uh, get this card, you should be playing it again. You'll hear, you'll, I mean, you probably heard me say that a lot, but there's there's so many cards that may not fit in with a particular uh, with a particular clan uh, flavor wise, but as long as you have the colors to play it, you should be. So if you're playing Mardu, if you're playing uh, Jeskai, if you're playing Obzin, um, they all have white, and there's really no reason not to play this card. Jeskai Wind Scout, two and a blue, with flying and prowess. It's a two one. It's a decent card. There's not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, the, it's it's got evasion, which is good. It's only a 2-1, which isn't great, but it does have prowess, which makes it good. Efreet Weapon Master. I've seen this one a lot. It's three blue, red, white, so six total. It's a 4-3 with first strike, and when Efreet Weapon Master enters the battlefield or is turned face up, another target creature you control gets plus three, plus zero until end of turn. And it's got more for two blue, black, blue, red, white, so five total. Um, this is a good card. It's a good body. If you if you're playing just guy and you get this guy, you play him. Erase, uh, probably a better sideboard card than it is a main board card. And you probably you probably don't want to include this in your initial forty. Crippling chill, two and a blue. Uh, tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step draw a card if you're trying to go along with just guy or if you're trying to go along with the teamer um or maybe if you're trying to go along with the salt eye uh, this is a good card i'd probably take it it's it it taps it, it taps down a big guy prevents him from blocking for a turn or doing anything for a turn and it replaces itself by allowing you to draw a card so i'd say that's a pretty good that's a pretty solid card uh, Swift Kick. We've done this one before. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. Advice target creature you don't control. So throw this on a guy, uh, add prowess to it, and you can probably use this for some for some decent removal. It's a tad bit expensive for my taste, uh, you know, it's, it, but what are you going to do? Whirlwind Adept. This goes probably for one of my favorite, uh, probably wins the award for favorite art of the set. 
Uh, it's four and a blue, uh, four two with hexproof, which is good, and prowess, which is even better. So, uh, and once again, this I, I, this card has my my favorite art. I just love the colors on it. I think it's amazing. And I like the gin. I like the gin as a as a race in Magic. Just guy student. This is a uh, for one and a white. It's a one three with prowess. Uh, this is a pretty good creature. Uh, it can block morphs relatively easily, and if they aren't careful, if you have another spell, um, it can kill morphs, uh, which is one of the reasons why some people liked prowess. Some people thought it you know wasn't terribly strong. Um, that's one of the times where prowess can be very strong, where they, they attack in with a morph. They're thinking, well, he's only got one damage. He can only do one damage to it. He's not going to kill it. Um, if he doesn't block it, so-so. Maybe they're trying to bluff you out, but you throw down a spell. Maybe you bounce another creature or something like that, and all of a sudden this guy is a 2-3, and he does kill their morph. So it's pretty good. It's a solid creature. And our mana fixing uh, is Swiftwater Cliffs. Oh, and the last card is an Alabaster Kirin. I talked about this card a little bit before. It's three and a white, a two three with flying and vigilance. I like this card. I like it a lot. Any any flyers, any creatures with uh, with uh, evasion are good. The fact that it has vigilance and it can block uh, morphs and kill morphs makes it even better. Uh, I think this is one of the better creatures in the set. It's it's very very good. At least it was very good for me. So that's it, guys. That was the Just Guy pre-release seeded booster pack. I hope you went to pre-release. I hope you had a great time. Um, I know I did. I have plenty of packs to, to bust open. I'll have three booster boxes coming this Friday, so I'll open those on camera as well. I'll probably open the boosters individually and make them individual videos rather than blowing all the content I have on opening a single box. But... That's it for now, guys. Uh, that was the, as I said, that was the Just Guy Seated Booster. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.